Good evening everyone, it's Patmos and nice of you to join me as we are going to play some City Skylines as a little prelude to the upcoming City Skylines 2 in less than a month now. So I thought it would be fun to just play around with this game uh, some more. Good evening Kevin, Roadhog, Hiradev and all others already watching, thanks for being here. Nice to see you all, I hope everybody's okay. Uh, every now and then, uh, just for everybody watching, I'll be shouting a little BOO just to keep Kevin awake because he's had a long day. So we need to keep him awake, otherwise he'll just doze off while we have a fun stream. That cannot happen, of course. Alright, well, I've loaded up the game. As you can see, there are no saves in it because, well, I just loaded up the game, played a little bit around to get the basics again, and that's it. And to be honest, I have not played this for a very long time. So um, I just hope I still know what I'm doing. We're going to play the vanilla game. I have some DLCs, as you can see right here, like the campus and industries and park life. But um, I don't even know how they all work uh, exactly. With the districts and stuff. I know we can set up things like forestry industry and stuff like that. But um, I'm not 100% sure how that works. So we'll find out. I also don't have a lot of DLCs. Especially all the radio channels I'm not interested in. So we're just going to load up a brand new game. Now one of the things we could do is start a snow map. If we're interested in that, but um, I'll just leave that to all of you. Or we could just do one of the regular maps. Since I don't have the airport DLC, for instance, or one of these, uh, we can't really play on those maps. So these are the maps available to us. Wow, you just started and got an ad, lol. Well, that's because YouTube changed the ad settings recently. Um... And what they basically did is make it so that they will decide what the best moment is. So I can say, well, um, I should, I don't want too many ads or I want a lot of ads or whatever. I said it to not too many. Um, but um, they will basically decide for every person when you get an ad. So some people will get the ad a bit early on. Some will get it a little bit later. And then there should be like 30 minute intervals between them. So um, that's a bit different. Um, but yeah, it can be that one person is watching an ad while somebody else isn't because it's just all in YouTube hands now. Uh, I don't know uh, if we can actually benefit from it, but we'll find out. Oh, let's see. Rumi left a few minutes ago to try for some trout at the lake. So fishing isn't over by any means. Oh, well, glad you're here for the for the stream. All right. Do we want an ice town? Or not. So please let me know. Do we want something in the frozen or do we want a normal town? Please tell me so we can start. It's time to take care of our poor neglected house. Bring in the last of the harvest process and preserve that and the fish and get ready for winter. Oh, lots of fire to get chopped. That's Rumi's job for the winter. So it's going to be your job then. Well, we're going to try and build some forest industry at some point so we can uh, work on some firewood for you. River run. That's river run. Normal, we have enough of frozen sun enough. All right, normal, normal, frozen. All right, we're going to go with river run then, I guess. So uh, there we are. Let's start up because otherwise things take way too long. And we just want to get started building a nice town. I mean, we're already three minutes into the stream, so let's get going. So how have all of your weeks been? I mean, we know Kevin just worked and that's it. Uh, but what have all of you been doing? Not that I've not seen you for a long time because we were together Wednesday on the stream. But hey, it's just nice to ask. My job is to keep everyone fed and help keep the wood stove going. Oh well, interesting job. It's a, oh, it's a lot of noise on my um, on my thing here. So I'm going to uh, get the effects volume down as well as the ambience volume because that's just way too much sound. There we are. Let me know if this is better or whether it's still too loud. I'll try to switch it up. Although, I, th I think it's the wind. That's really loud. 
Should be the ambient volume, I guess. Yeah, all right. Oh, that's better. I like this a lot better. To keep everyone fed. Do you really have to feed them or could you just get everybody fed up with something? That's also fed, so... All right, here we have our little uh, square that we started in. We have two sites to start on. That's interesting. Uh, of course, we have the basic starting money. And yeah, we'll have to figure out what to do. Um, I think we're going to start on the north side here or on the south side if you have the map like this. Um, so we're just going to start up here and then see if we can um, build something that looks like a town. Now we first have to build one piece of road, then the rest will be unlocked. So we'll just start with that one little piece of road. There it is. And now we can see all other things get unlocked as well. Um, all right, we'll start off like this. Now we can already see that these two seem to be going towards each other a bit. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that, but um, what I want to do is this. I want to get started with a little roundabout. Now, if sounds things are off, just let me know. I did try to set it up a bit, but uh, probably did not do that to the best extent. So. Right, there we are. So now they can go to the roundabout, which should be good. I think we should try to uh, big a big roundabout. So, uh... oh boy, this is a lot of bang, bang, bang in my ear. So I guess it's quite loud for you people too. So let's bring that down a bit as well. All right, so they can come into town, big roundabout, and they can get out of town. I think that's a good start from there on. I think we should make it like something of a main road into town, like this. I can play the... <laughs> Rumi is often fed up with me. <laughs> well, then you're doing something right. If people are never fed up with you, you're too sweet. Alright, here we go. Let's start a little basic thingy of town. We can do it like this. This could be a little starting area. Okay, and the same way down here, of course. Need to save some money, though, for power and things. So we'll have to get this way, too. And then we'll keep the industry separated from the rest of town. So let's just build... No, I want to build the roads here first, too. So let's just get started. Right like this. And now we can build the power plant here. I hope I did not do too much so we don't have money for everything, but we'll find out. Um Yeah, interesting. Let's just go like this. And then hopefully this will do. Now of course we also need some water somewhere. Oh, that's all the way down here, so that's going to require us to get quite a power line going. All right, we'll build one of these and one of these. That will take the stuff downstream. That's good. Oh, this is going to make for a lot of money to actually get there. Hope we did not do too bad with this start. All right, that's a start. So, now we have to just connect it down here. Can we do that a bit cheap? 2,000. Oh, we have that. That's okay. Now we have to connect these two via a power line. But also, yeah, we already did this. Now we have to get a power line all the way up here. There it is. All right. So, we have... A little bit of the basics laying around, I think. So let's start setting this up for a bit. Let's unpause. And now we could slowly see a start of a town developing. Whoa, those are some heavy placement sounds. Yeah, I know, I know. I already turned them off a bit, but apparently it's still a bit loud. So I just do the main volume down a bit. 
that might just help but keep giving me info on the sounds that's uh, that's a good thing I'm trying to get some meals made up for times when the power goes out and we have to rely on cooking on the wood stove or hot plate in a generator. Okay, interesting. Well, it's, um, you really have an interesting life out there. I mean, here in the city, in the Netherlands, everything is always organized perfectly. Can't remember the last power outage we had, so that must have been a long time ago. Yeah, well, it's good because um, we don't want to scare off any people. So uh, let's make sure that the sound is not too loud or whatever. All right, here we go. First house is incoming. The uh, stuff is working. Now, we're not making any money. And a good thing to do is just cut back a bit on the finances. All that does, I'll show you soon. All this does is because we spent less money on electricity, our coal plant here will produce a little bit less electricity so th this will produce 23 megawatts but if we fully fund it it can produce up to 40 so by just defunding it a bit it will produce slightly less uh, power but that will also mean that uh, we have to pay less money for it which is a very good thing i like that so we'll, we'll keep it up like that as we will now try to expand the town a bit I guess because we need a lot more houses now nobody's in town yet I mean they're building the houses but um, they first have to drive all the way up to one of the highways and then get into town so we won't see any cars yet you won't see anybody walking yet this is all empty it says there's three out of three but all those people still have to arrive which is interesting but we'll see how that goes what speed you sure still know how to play this game well i know a little bit of the basics but um soon enough we'll find things that i don't remember i know we can soon build stuff like the forestry area and stuff but i'm not 100 percent sure how to set that up so um i just see that i have money so i try to spend it because i know if you don't spend it and we're running a deficit we will slowly run out of money anyway so why not spend it then i think the more room we have for housing the, more, the quicker we can make some money Hey, Thomas, how are you? All right, so the houses are coming in. Ah, we're getting the first industries here. We have a garments factory, apparently. Another one ready to wear. French fish sticks. Nice. I guess since it's uh, fish sticks, we should make this Hero Devs fish sticks. Wonder how much fish you can make, but we'll see. Ah, more and more factories come in. We even have the uh, fish sticks factory pumping out fish sticks. Oh, a lot of clothing. Ready to wear, ready to wear. Another fish sticks. Interesting. So who of you is waiting for City Skylines 2 to finally come out? Because I know I am. All right, here we can see people are coming in from the highway. Now we can also see that we still have traffic lights and I don't like traffic lights. Luckily we can do something about it. So let's just turn off the traffic lights at least at the roundabout so that they can just skip through. Uh, I would also like to turn them off in town. We will be working with a few stop lights, stop signs though, because this is the main road. So we want them to use this as the main road. So they should have priority and this way People coming from the side roads will have to wait and all the others have priority. So that is a thing that I like to do. And we'll do the same here. So the main road should have 
priority and people coming from the sides will just have to wait and that should help by speeding up traffic so all these new cars that just came in immediately finding a spot so that works out salmon sticks well you can sell them in town that's fine all right let's see because we have the myrtle residence the walnut residence lots of people living here already they want some room for more industries apparently now i can get into that maybe we should just expand the uh the area for the industry a bit just to give them enough space for some extra growth So let's just give them some extra space. Yeah, we zoned this already, so they can already start to... Uh, my Hyper C is too cooled down quite a bit. Quite a bit. Oh, well. That's why I made sure I wasn't hyped about it. Because I just, I just wanted to uh, be surprised by the game and see how it goes. What I've seen from uh, the few dev videos that I watched, only the small ones... Uh, was that it's really it, it's really looking nice and um, I know there's always things in it that people won't like or or uh, want to see different but that's that's normal it's just that I um, I think well I remember when Skylines came out this was like quite a unique game with all the features that you have in it and all the things that you can do with it and I but for me, at least, it was the first time I actually got a game as detailed about city building as this. And yes, there's a lot of flaws in it. Yes, some things could be way better. But this was already an amazing game changer for me. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to City Skylines too, And, and see what we can do with that and if we can build nice towns with it. And uh, there's already probably a lot of people out there on YouTube screaming about things that should have been done different and whatsoever. I don't really care about it. I just want to have fun. Well, I really believe they did some better stuff on the uh, traffic AI and stuff. So that should be useful. But uh, I remember I've played this quite a bit, especially when it came out. And not quite a bit, a lot. And Wifey did too, because this is just a very nice game. And I do love all the graphics and details. Look at this. Just a big Forester truck coming in. Yeah, I like it. It's nice. And I want more of this. Alright, we are actually making our first little bit of money. Now, that's awesome. That means that we now are a healthy town. We can't do that much yet. But as soon as we unlock the first milestone with 500 people or 460, we can take a loan. We can get some taxes going. We have to improve the town, of course. But uh, we are well on our way to becoming a successful town. In my opinion, the beginning is always the hardest. You have to pace yourself a bit to make sure that you don't spend too much money of your beginning earnings on roads and things like that. But uh, now that we are slowly making a bit of money, we can get there. Now, I, I know most of you uh, who watch this channel know that... Uh, going a bit slow with games like this is how i play so we're not gonna speed up things we're just gonna take it step by step and uh slowly expand our town it will also help me to be able to read the chat and talk to everybody so uh, hopefully that works and to everybody watching thanks for being here thanks for showing up i hope you enjoy this feel free to just lurk around and watch around uh, yes, this is still uh, City Skylines 1. I have no copy of 2 yet. We'll have to wait until it releases. I'm not one of those big YouTubers that got the game already. And uh, feel free to lurk around. If you want to chat, feel free to chat as well. I'll answer your questions. And uh, there's a lot of nice people in chat. Alright, let's see. We are now a little hamlet. So um, we can expand a bit. Now, we, you also get money with those milestones, so that is great. That means that we can now take care of some things. And one of the things we should take care of pretty quickly is the fact that we have a lot of garbage in town, or we will get a lot of garbage in town, and we will have to deal with it. So we'll have to build a landfill for that to make sure that all the garbage gets picked up. Now, we can see by the zone that it will create a lot of... Uh, pollution and stuff but we don't have to worry about that too much i think it's also good to have a little bit of healthcare in our town 
so let's get going with that straight away to make sure that everybody's healthy that will also take care of a lot of our money but that's fine we still have money for some roads to make sure that we can expand the town the way we want it all right let's just expand this road a bit further out because then we can make a whole new section here which will be very nice i think we can even do another section here this is quite where it should be yes all right well this should be the edge of town i guess and i guess we can make this little one removed and then fill this all up with uh, buildings now we could also get a little bit of extra commerce it might be useful and i guess some extra roads here will not hurt we still have 2000 so that's okay i think we also still have to get um some plumbing in here yeah we do otherwise people will not be so happy without their plumbing but now they can all have plumbing great all right i'm hoping i don't get too interested in this game now i already have ostriff and now i'm pretty sold on forest village so some Gameplay in first person. Pretty cool. Oh, that's nice. Done with coffee. Time for some beer. Cheers. Well, cheers, Rodok. I'm still having my coffee here. Yeah, slow is good so we can be in chat and watch the game too. Yeah, that's cool. I would use some more coffee. <laughs> I could use some more coffee. Well, you all enjoy your coffee. If not, have a drink on me. That's fine. As we... Oops, sorry about that. I'm going to take a little zip from my coffee as well. As we slowly watch this little town develop a little bit, we can see people coming from the highway slowly. So, uh, yeah... It's time to uh, to start growing a bit, get a bit more money out of this, while I take a little zip for my coffee. And back, finish the coffee was the right temperature so why not just get it in at once well we're slowly getting to a weekly income of a thousand that's precisely the way i want it to head so that's good we see there's little demand for everything so there's plenty of space they can all still develop now one of the um issues of course in town is to get everybody from the outside into town and out again so this this works for now but uh, it could be good to make a big main artery here that we can use to, to spread people around town. So one of the things I am going to do at some point is remove this. And make sure that we just uh, kind of continue on this, this route. So now I know where to start. But now we'll, yeah, we'll go sideways so that doesn't work. But yeah, I want this to go just straight out. like this and this one goes straight in like that so soon enough we can move this a bit further down and that also means that we can make crossings to the uh, to the other side so that that could be nice as well goes to make coffee enjoy your coffee and of course if you're watching if you enjoy this please feel free to hit that like button it's totally free and it will be a big help for me so uh, consider that if you don't do it also fine i mean it's what you want and whether you enjoy it or not yeah we're a little bit short on money but i think we can take out a loan and i think i'm going to actually do that yes because that's good money we can afford it and uh, it will also help us to build a school for instance what's that community school Oh, well, I want a normal school first. Let's educate the northern section of town and then later on we'll educate the rest. That's just one. Perfect. And if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them. I will be happy to try and make your dreams come true in terms of this game, of course. So uh, just let me know then. All right, this already has the... Uh, 
plumbing that's great oh we're completely filled up with all the industry so we can already expand the road here and get some more industry now it will be a little bit of a squared town especially now in the beginning uh, because I basically want to ensure that we really get enough money in as soon as we do that and we have a uh, rather successful town uh, I'm happy to start trying different shapes and stuff like that but I do want a uh, a successful town first that actually makes some money so that's what we're investing in right now hey Jon how are you nice of you to join us I hope all is well glad to see you're not on uh, any bar duties right now Oh, we're out of power. That means that, uh, yeah, we reached the maximum capacity. But that's because we are not funding it completely. So let's get back to the budget and fund the uh, power supply a bit more. Especially back up to 100%. That should make it so that we all... Yep, yeah, there we go. Power outage is going away because now we are producing plenty of power again. It is good to know, though, that we are soon going to need an extra power plant. So we better be prepared for it. All right, here we see... Ooh, this seems like a nice car. Sports car. Nice. All right, here's our school. There's nobody in school, apparently. 152 out of the 300 students that can go in. Oh, that's a nice amount. Yeah, here we have our medical clinic, so we can treat patients if we have to. No pop duties tonight, mate. <laughs> I'm fishing early tomorrow. Nice. What are you going to fish for? Any particular uh, thing you want to catch? Oh, we're back up to 8,000. Ooh, I think we reached another milestone. Yep, there we are. A worthy village. I don't really know what we're worthy of now, but uh, we reached it. We can buy another zone if we want. We can now get districts, policies. We can get forestry specialization, agricultural specialization. So that's interesting. I don't know how to set it up, but uh, I think we can figure it out together. I'm just really getting into this so that we can get into uh, Skylines 2 next time, once we get it. If the music is too loud, please let me know. I believe this is quite a loud song. At least it's quite loud in my ears, but that could just be uh, me experiencing it. Alright, let's continue this road a bit. So that we can make a crossing over it soon as well. Because that's one of the things I want to do. We have one, two, three normal roads up here as well. One, two. Let's get a third. So we're going to set it up like this. And now the next road... Is this the right one? No, it should be slightly further. Now we're going to do another one of these roads. And we're going to use it to also get across to the other side. So what I'm going to do is we're going to raise the road here. Go over the highway here. Then go down again. And then the people can go from one side to the other. And that might be beneficial for our town, I think. This can all be set up now. I think we should do this as a commercial district because that's close to the road to the industry. And if the industry creates something, they can just bring it here to those stores. So that could be nice. Kind of loud. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Thanks. Well, now the music is gone. So that helped. This is just a very loud song, apparently. This should be slightly better, I hope. 
I don't know, is there a button that I can just skip this song and go to the next, or...? Ah. Well, at least we can make it go away. Ah, gold of M. We all want to be prepared. We all want to be sure that the all people right. we leave behind better. don't think we're jerks. That's where final insurance comes in. We provide peace of mind for when So what are you up to, uh, Thomas? What are you going to do this weekend? You can spend your okay, now we have to work on the town a bit. We have health care, but we don't have any fire brigade. So if we have a fire breaking out now, we would be in trouble. But I also would like to get the fire brigade a bit close to the industry because they need to take care of fires there too. I guess soon we should also get a police department to fight crime. environment is perfect for all of your work needs. There's no better place to be distracted than the burned bean coffee shop and cafe. Our coffee technicians are trained to make a variety of Is this just talking or whatever? I think we can just lose the music. That might also be something. Although it did add something to the game but we'll find out um let's see let's expand our industry a little bit more just to give them enough room to keep expanding i think it's getting a little foggy in town at least that's how, yeah oh this this whole area is just dirty but uh, yeah it's a bit foggy in town today so is it radio stations like in gta yeah i think so there's but there's only four of them apparently i don't know why we would listen to the official mars oh there's five of them there's five different ones these four and the one that we're listening to i don't know if they spread like uh just watching it rain all day in Florida. Oh, that's not nice. Well, maybe it's good that it's raining. I don't know. Maybe you had a drought recently, but it doesn't really sound that nice watching it rain all day. So no other plans than that. Well, it was supposed to be dry here today, but there was actually quite a bit of rain, which was surprising and not so nice. Because the people at the funeral I was did not really expect the rain, but um, oh well, we survived. Okay, I want to see if we can get something going with one of the... Uh, oh, we can't do this yet. We can't get to the forestry industry and stuff like that, apparently. I thought it was right there. Okay, or is it here? No. I thought we unlocked it. Reach a population of 1400. Ah, I thought we unlocked it already, but we didn't. So soon enough we can get specialized industries. I think that would be uh, an interesting thing to go for. Oop, we're out of power again. Now, yeah, then we're really at the maximum capacity and we need 19,000 or 35,000 to get a new one. Let's just invest in a little loan. So we can actually just build a power plant. Can't get a better one, so let's just do this one then. Let's invest in some extra power, because without power, our town won't grow and won't get better. So uh, this is probably the way to go. We could also get a police station now then. I think. Yeah, that can service the whole town, so that's good. We now have the police uh, busy. Yeah. Oh, did New York got a severe weather thing? Streets flooded. That's not good. I don't really follow the news lately, so I'm not really aware of all of those things. But uh, that's not good. We see too many uh, of those weather things lately. Not a big fan of that. All right. I have another idea because we do have quite a busy town. And I think it can be interesting to also get another road connection going. 
somewhere here so that they can at least get across this big highway without interfering with it and go to their work. So this might be a good option to, to make that happen so that people can now just drive over this. If they use it a lot, we can even widen the road. But this should be another interesting connection maybe for some cars. Now it's not really that busy here yet, but that might just come later on. So if we could fix that, that would be nice. I would really like the fog to go away though, because I don't really like this foggy weather. Yeah, the weather is really changing. Well, right here in Holland, it's slowly happening for years already, but um, we just see bigger and bigger results from it. All right, so this should be working out right now. Yep. No more traffic lights because we don't want to people waiting for a traffic light if there's no reason for them to wait. Stream Elements bot is a bit wonky today, apparently. Very, very annoying. We can't see anything. <laughs> well, hope you can see this. We are a tiny town right now. So now we can get to uh, some landscaping and stuff like that. Lots of things. New roads that we unlocked. Maybe we can get to some public transportation at some point. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. Now this is a highly polluted area I think it would be interesting if we could get some of the industries that are not so polluting like uh, forestry for instance but I'm not 100% sure how this works does anybody know how this works so you can help me set this up because apparently there's all these production steps in it I don't know but uh Extractor buildings. I don't really know how this all works. Do we have to actually build it ourselves? Or can we just set up an area that will function like that? Let's start by building a road here. That goes quite far into the area. Where we can set things up. Been raining for a week. Ooh, that's not nice. Alright, I believe we can just make a district if we really want to. There's no normal two-way roads that we can use, apparently. Or at least none that I want to use. Okay. Now, there's all the pollution, so I think from somewhere here on we should start, and then we should hopefully create an area... Without too much pollution. I hope we can create that. Let's just go like this. Now, I think we are able to make this a district. Paint an industry area. Yeah, that's nice. And I guess then we can set it up to be some sort of a specialized area or something like that. This is now the Belmont Complex. Residential, commercial, industry specializations. Yeah, so now we can make this the... Uh, can we now make this the forestry area or a... I don't know. This industry area has no specialization. Build an industry area main building or either farming, forestry. Okay. So... We can build a main building. Cool. Extractor buildings, processing buildings, unique factories, then a commercial zone. Okay, now I can't read this. So what's this? A sawmill, a small tree plantation. We unlocked a few buildings, apparently. Okay. So we can now get tree plantations, apparently. Production. 384 units a year. Okay, that sounds nice. From this we can make... Raw forest products to produce forestry, special goods, plain timber, processing buildings. Okay, so we can now build a processing building here, apparently. I think we should do that on this side so that we keep the road clear. Oh, but it's not in the industry area. 
Uh, let's expand this zone a bit then upwards like this. Cool. I'm happy to find this out. This looks very nice, actually. All right. So now it's in the area. Let's build this up here. Then we need a logging yard, apparently. To store a lot of stuff. Okay. Well, we'll see if we did it right. We'll find out soon enough. Let's just make sure that they have some water. Let's give them some electricity. Oh, we'll have to... Uh, yeah, we can do it right here. Now they have some electricity as well. No, Jon's not in Florida. That's uh, Thomas. All right, let's see. So what do these need? Not enough natural resources. Zero out of 20 workers. Ah, that, that's not going to work. Industrial area info. So they just need workers, I guess. And then they can really start to produce something, I hope. This is operating normally. But we need more workers. We need more people in our town that can start to work here. But this looks nice. So we have a specialized zone now. I like it. Let's keep that up. I also see that most of our residential areas are starting to get filled up with people. So we need some extra residential areas. To house everybody. How are we doing? Power wise we are good. Water wise still good. But mm, could use some attention soon. So I have to make sure that everything goes uh, the right way. How can we change up this weather? Because I'm kind of done with all the fog. I guess it's part of this uh, river map or something like that. It's 9 out of 20 workers. That's better. Operating normally. Not enough natural resources. Is this in an area that we couldn't really be using it? That could be the case. That we just made it natural resources. Yeah, so this is not a forestry, forestry area. That's the problem. We need this to be in an area of forestry. Okay, interesting. I guess. We just made a little boo-boo here. By not doing this correctly. Yes. Well, that's part of finding things out. I guess they can just import stuff then, I hope. Or do we really have to do everything ourselves? Can't they just import things like that? Maybe we should just get rid of all of this and build a new industry area here because this is useless. There's no forestry industry here. Are there any fog lamps in this game? No, they're not. I know, I want the fog to go away too, but I don't know how. It was such nice clean weather when we started, but... Uh... I don't know what's causing it and it's not going away, so... We'll have to deal with it for now. Alright. This is all useless. Can't make anything out of it. Let's just get rid of this because this will also not work. Maybe we should just get... Um Can we get generic industry? Yeah, that's it. We're just going to make some generic industry here. Because we do need more industry. That's for sure. So let's try that. That should also make more, more stuff going on here. So that could be interesting. And it's getting really... Do you get smoke in the game? EA air pollution. I believe there is stuff like pollution. But as you can see, this is all cleared. I think it's a weather thing. And at some point it should be cleared because, well, it was clear already. You can see all over the land that there's just fog. So it is what it is. Um, there might just be a setting that we can turn off the weather, but I don't know if we want that. Do we want that or not? Just let me know. I'll turn off the lights in my room for a second, so I'll be back in a few seconds.
And I'm back. All right, let's check if there is actually an option to do something about the weather or something like that. Use dynamic weather. Well, we can chain, turn that off. Let's see what happens. Ah, there we are. Completely cleared. Perfect. So it is a weather thing. It's not just pollution because, well, there is pollution here, but that wasn't just pollution. Ooh, we can already see things getting a bit crowded here. There's the fire department heading back into... Uh, so they fought a fire, which is a good thing, of course. Um, let's see. Can we get better roads already? No, not really. So we'll just leave it as it is. Maybe later on we can upgrade a few roads or something like that. But for now, this is okay. We see more industry coming up here. I like that. Can we get into highways already? No, we probably need a lot more. Oh, we don't need that many more people to actually unlock some of the highways. 2600, okay. Because then we can really make this a bit more of a highway kind of thing. Uh, let's see. There are no traffic lights here, so that's all good. Areas are filling up with people. We could also be buying another zone already. I don't know how expensive it is. 5,000, 3,000, 4,000, 3,000. So we could at some point start investing in another zone. But I think we still have plenty of space in this one. We just need to expand a bit downwards to get more things going. I actually do want to start setting things up a little bit more widely so that we have more space for future developments and stuff like that. But here's little one coming to say goodnight, so I'll just turn off the sound for a little bit. just go first all right so let's build a few more bigger roads and then we can adjust that with some smaller roads of course but uh, for now i do want some bigger roads in here too and then in the middle we can do a few smaller roads i guess like this because it's as the town grows, we're going to need more um, more room for things like that anyway. For traffic and stuff. So this is a way to go. Now, I think we need to increase our water intake and output. So let's just go straight with that. We'll just build one uh, right there. And another outlet right here. Can we just... Make it attach. Not sure. I think we still have to connect it. Yes, there it is. Okay. So there we are. Oh, they're out of power. How did that happen? Oh, this. Alright, so we have doubled the water in and outtake. So that should work. We want to hear her. <laughs> well, she's off to bed already. So that ain't gonna happen. Patmos is building Milton Keynes. Now this is Lake Valley, but um, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, we name her little one. Um, I'm kind of a privacy nut, and of course she has no say in what happens so far, so uh, I'm not gonna share things like that. Uh, that's up to her when she's a grown-up, she can decide whether she wants to uh, have those things shared. So uh, for us, she's now little one. 
Sorry about that. Okay, so we have this area building up. We have industry here. Anything else we should get? I guess we can get into some... Uh... Ooh, postal service. That sounds cool. Oh, we can't get all of that yet. So we have to wait. What's this? A warehouse yard. Nice. It's just a warehouse that's garbage. We might need to get a recycle center at some point. 11% full. Oh, that can take a long time. So traffic is still okay, I think. Um, everybody can get on and off. Now, everybody's using this. So I guess once we reach the amount of people that we need for highways, we can turn this a little bit more into highways and get some on and off ramps and stuff to help spread everybody coming in and going out. Because now everybody's using this roundabout to get in or out. So that might be helpful if we can get some extra on and off ramps at some point. Oh, thanks, Thomas. All right, here we go. That's another road. That's another road. How's that? That's good. So we can put in some extra commerce here. And then some extra housing space. I'm very happy to hear you say you don't tell names and stuff. I'm also quite private and you never know who's lurking. Well, it's not it's not like really I'm 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 scared of something or whatever, but it's just that um it's her life and I don't want to uh she I want her to have the option later in life to whether she wants to be on on all those different things. Uh, I mean, I'm not on Facebook, Twitter, whatever, so uh, that's a thing I choose not to be on, but I also want her to have that choice. I think that's important. And uh yeah, she she just needs to get that choice as well. I'm uh, I'm not a big fan of all those people making money on their little ones on all those uh, different social media channels because well, basically they're not old enough and wise enough to make a wise decision about that and whether they want that or not. So yeah, we're not exposing her to that. Later in life, she can make up her own mind and if she wants to be a YouTube star or on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever they call it by then, that's fine. But only when she's old enough to make her own choices. And I'm not going to make it for her. Hey, Aaron Gamer. Nice of you to join us. I hope all is well. Where are you from? Thanks, Sean. Oh, we are always such in agreement here in chat. That's so nice. <laughs> All right, let's expand this road quite a bit. We have the money for it anyway, which can be interesting for the industry here and also to connect all of this. So we have more road options here. That could be very interesting and nice. The UK, another person from the UK. That's great. I like that. We have a lot of people here from the UK. So maybe somebody is your neighbor here. Who knows? Who knows? I watch a homesteader that just had a baby and she feels exactly the same way. Blurs the baby's face. No names. Great policy to have. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I can make decisions for my life, but not for her life. We also do that with school and stuff. So you have to fill in a privacy form. And we always tell them that they can make... Um, like in, in, in the uh, the after school thing that she goes to when we have to work. They can make pictures of her and put it in her file. So that it's just us that can see it. Uh, but they can't use it on social media and stuff like that. And the same with school. So every now and then we get a picture from her when she did something in school. And she's proud of it and stuff like that. Then we get a picture. But we're the only ones that can see it. And they're not allowed to use it for any uh, social media and stuff like that. It's just the way we are. Oh, that's where the power plant is. So that's why we can't build a road there, of course. 
I really want City Skylines 2 to come out. I really hope my neighbors here. <laughs> well, I want City Skylines 2 to come out too. A little less than two months, or than a month, and we should be able to get it. Ooh, we are a boom town now. That's great. We can buy another zone if we have to. We can have transport stuff. A ferry, a taxi, a tram, postal services. And we can now build highways, I think. Yes. Two-lane highway. A highway. I guess this is just the normal highway that we already have? Or does that look a bit different? Yeah, this is like the regular highway we already have. That will also speed things up a bit. So I kind of want to get going with that. Because this will speed things up. I mean, people driving on the highway go faster. So let's upgrade all of this. And then we should be able to make some on and off ramps here too. So let's just make sure this is big enough. Let's rotate these so they drive the right way. And then we can create some on and off ramps here to make sure that the people can get on the highway and not get trams. My favorite transport. Yeah, we've got to get into trams and things like that too. I already like the attitude. Oh, very good. Evening Euphoria. Nice of you to join us here. I hope all is well. All right, let's get going with some of this. Oh, wow. That's a really short one and it's not that pretty actually. Oh, we can also do it midway there. How does that look? Oh, that's an interesting look. Well, it does look like something. I don't know if it looks nice, but it is something. And it should be working now. So they can now get on and off the road here. This is like an interesting bump in the road. But um, they'll figure it out. Let's get rid of the... Uh, Traffic lights, because I don't want to see people waiting with their car for a traffic light. Well, there's no other vehicles around, so yeah, that's better. All the traffic lights removed. And, ooh, they're already using this now, so that's great, that's great. Also in the UK, very good. In the south, we should be enemies, Jon. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yeah, it's a big jump to go over, but it's a way to make sure that people don't speed or those daredevils will actually speed. I don't know. I'm not going to waste too much time on making everything look perfect now. In a few weeks, we'll be playing a different game anyway, so why bother with it? All right, let's see. I think we should get a recycling center. It's quite expensive, though. What else? Ooh, we should get some uh, a cemetery. Uh, we really need a cemetery. <laughs> Place it near the uh, industry. Nah, that's not good. Alright, do we want the cemetery in the middle of town? I think so, because I, I think it's death care is very important. So we'll just build the cemetery right here. Elder care, child health care. Yeah, we'll get that later. Anything else that we desperately need? Not so much. Post offers, offers mail related services such as acceptance and delivery of letters and parcels. Each post office maintains a small fleet of post vans that collect and distribute mail locally. Okay, it creates a bit of noise pollution. But. Oh, if we can just build it on this side, it will. It's all fine, and we get a postal service. Who doesn't want a postal service? Let's go postal service. That's nice. Evil Knievel would love this road. Oh yeah, I think so. I think so. Had my hair cut and did loads of gardening today. Well, I hope you don't didn't use your gardening scissors for your hair. But, uh, well, that's nice. That's nice. So you garden already for the next season now? And now we're all curious to know what you did with your hair. Alright, plenty of room for industry. We just need a lot more room for people, apparently. Father. 
Ooh, we can now get four lane roads for buses and we can get a tram road. I think we should get a tram at some point. Maybe we should be upgrading some of these roads so that we can make a tram drive around town. Hmm, interesting. There is also an option, I believe, to just create a tram road so that we can make a tram crossing right here. Alright, I'm going to build a little section for some more housing. And then you people can decide, do we want to build a tram around our little town or not? Just let me know. I know Aaron wants a tram because he already told me, but uh, what about the others? The town center, yeah, that's true, but I'm kind of... I don't think I want the town center somewhere here. I was kind of thinking maybe we should build a little part with high rises and stuff on this side of the uh, map. But um, that's my thoughts on it, so we'll just think about it. For now, I think it's good to just build a little bit of a stable part of town. Where we can actually uh, make sure that everybody's happy and we make some good money. Trams for sure. Yeah, I think so. Should find a good tram route, though. Um, I have to build stations for it and stuff. I think I have an idea let's just go along with a nice tram route we can at least start with it so we'll start right here so yeah the tram can go right here this looks like a nice road the tram can just go right here then some of these buildings will have to be removed but that's fine we're just basically upgrading our town a bit and it's not too expensive, 600 for each piece of road, so I'm not too concerned about that at this point. And now we have a, a round here, and then the tram can go all this way. Alright, we'll stop right there for now, because I believe right now, if we want to, we can just build a tram connection here, but no... Nothing else can pass. I believe we could do that. Or is it not an option yet? Tram track. Standalone tram track. Right. That's what we want. Right here. So now the tram can cross here. And all the other things will just keep going. I still want the traffic lights to be away here. Uh, no. like this now we should be able to make the traffic lights go away yes that's better then we can get the tram all the way here maybe we should make it go a circle here too and then back something like that I, I would like to build a nice tram line I just got an effort yeah well that's the only way I can make a little bit of money so thanks for watching the ad I just noticed I haven't subscribed. Oh, well, please do so. Thanks a lot. That will be highly appreciated. All right, let's continue because we were busy with the tram. And I think we need to continue that. So uh, let's just go down here. It'll be costly running a tram, especially since our town is not that big yet. But... Um, I know we can do it, we just have to move the post office now. One thing I really love about this game is how easily you can move certain buildings. That's a real thing for me that works. Alright, so we now have built the tram lines. I think we now need to uh, start working on the line itself. Oh, and we can't build a tram depot, it's too much money. <laughs> ah, that's a slight issue that we'll work on soon enough. Now I have to remember how to build a 
tram and bus line again. Escape routes. Oh, we don't have to escape, so that's not good. Here we are. Transport. Lines overview. Well, I don't have a line yet. We still have to create one. We have to create it from the um, depot, I believe. So we'll have to save some money to get the depot. That's one negative point for you. <laughs> Ooh, that's nice, Kevin. Cucumbers, tomatoes, nice. <laughs> Ooh, and I see 11 likes. That's really nice. Thanks so much, people. You are all the best, but you already know that. That's why we're all here having so much fun. And I can see that I already got two new subscribers. So thanks a lot of you subscribed to my channel and my little corner of the YouTube universe. I really appreciate it. All right, so the tram tracks are all up here. Oh, we have a little power shortage again. Whoopsie. Well, let's fix that. 19,000. Oh, we should have that fairly quickly. So that should not be too much of a hindrance. There we go. Plenty of power again. Ah, talking about gardening. Very nice. All right, so we have to save some money to get to the actual tram. Now, the thing could be... Yeah, we still have these two loans standing open, so we can't get any more money that way. What we could do is raise taxes slightly, just even with a percent, of course, can make quite a bit of extra money come in. So that could work. But uh, we'll either have to make another... Um, milestone or just be patient and then we'll get to build a nice uh, area for uh, the tram but right now that's not working out because it's just too expensive to get we do need some extra commercial area so let's fit that in and maybe spend some money soon on some extra roads. Now, we do make a good weekly income, so it just takes time for us to get to uh, a point where we can actually get the tram. And that should get rid of a bit of traffic. That will also be helpful. Sigma! Nice of you to join us. I can put the taxes up to 13. Oh, really? Without them doing anything bad or getting angry? I'll just do that straight away. Thanks for the tip. How are you? Nice of you to join us here. All right, here we are. Shame about that tree at Hadrian's Wall. Yeah, I read about that. Robin Hood's tree just got completely lost. That's so unfortunate. It was such a nice tree, and I remember that movie well, so... Okay, so let's see. We have a good income now of 4,000. So we nearly doubled it with the extra tax income. So that works. That's very nice. We can see that traffic is still okay. So far, not a lot of traffic issues. You can always change at a heartbeat in this game. But so far, it's okay. And I think once we get a few trams running, that uh, we might get some issues here. But we'll see. Otherwise, maybe at some point we can make a little tram crossing here where they go over the highway and not through the uh, through the roundabout here. But we'll find out. Or 12, I forgot. Oh, well, we'll find out. We'll find out. As soon as everybody starts leaving, we'll know. But I don't think everybody's... You see, everybody's pretty happy with our town. So I'm not too concerned about it yet. And they're now paying really good money with it. So that's good. We already have 12,000, so... I have an idea, though, because I think what we could... Oh, these are just not available to us. I would like to get some more nice roads, but they're still not available to us. Yeah, only with trams. I don't really care about the tram. Well, what we could do is we have built this square part of town, of course, but maybe next to the water, we can try to make it... 
a little bit nicer looking. A little bit more like this. So get a bit of curvation in it. And just see if we can... Can build a few houses here that actually... I don't know. There's not a lot of space here. Let's get rid of this for now. Get a bit of refund anyway. Oh, we get on a, on a steep thing straight away. Interesting. That's one of the things I don't really like when the game starts auto terraforming, but uh, we'll deal with it. Alright, let's just get over here. So this could be our um, curvy town. That's what it should be called. <laughs> so here we can get some of the rich people living near the water. It's highly polluted, but uh, that's their problem. And then maybe we can just... Get a few nice corners in here and just make it look all funny. Interesting. From here on we'll go a bit like this. Right. Let's make it so that they can build houses here at some point. I will have to connect it to the main road. Which I think should be this one. Question is just how to connect it. Can we connect it like this? Or like this? I think we should connect it two ways. Like this. And now they can get in there. Well. I hope the people will like it. If not, their problem. But I still hope they will like it. Here we get another main road. We have to set up quite a bit of uh, plumbing and stuff here, I think, because we have none yet. But this could be interesting. You are playing on the Epic Games version or Steam version, because then you can get mods where you're on the Steam. Yeah, I'm on the Steam version, but I especially did not do any mods because I just wanted to play the vanilla game and have some fun with that. I do have some of the DLCs running, of course, but um, not all of them. I don't have all of them. It's just uh, having some fun until City Skylines 2 comes out, of course. And this is just getting a little bit into the vibe and into the whole idea of uh, City Skylines, so... Uh yeah, I know, my my, uh, my wife have pl has played it a lot, and I played this quite a bit as well, uh, years ago, but uh, not recently. And uh, we had all these mods and stuff, but um, uh, for now we're just having some fun until City Skylines 2 comes out, and then we'll just jump straight into that and have hopefully a lot of fun with that too. Right, let's see, because I think it should be possible. Oh, this is not good. We need some uh, plumbing here as well. Um, I think it is possible to just get rid of two of these. And yeah, then we can get some extra industry going right here. Oh, bye, Aaron. I'm sorry, I'm missing some parts of the chat every now and then. See you next time, Aaron. Thanks for stopping by and for the subscribe. That's really nice. All right, let's start setting this area up because now we need some plumbing here too, of course. Let's just try and get as much area covered as we can. Maybe we should do it like this now. And then do another run just like this and then the whole area is covered. Well, that works.
Yeah, it's only released for the big YouTubers, I know. But 24th, I believe, 24th, 25th of October, it becomes available. So then we can all play it. So I'm just looking forward to that. Happy with this game. And, uh... Well, the problem is I don't know how everything works in this game because I haven't played it for a while. So there are some new things that I also don't know how it works. But it's also fun to just find out and try and... Oh, we'll see. Right now the town is still working. We have almost 4,000 people. I think that's nice already. Having good amounts of people in, that's also nice. Let's just check some of the things. So we still have enough power, although we could use a bit more. Sewage is still okay. Garbage is okay. I think we should use another elementary school. Or maybe even a high school already. But let's just start with another elementary school. Yeah, it's nice. Nice to see a few new faces as well. Great. I enjoy it a lot. I hope everybody enjoys it. Just can't wait for the new game to come out so we can play it all together here. Have some fun with it. And uh, what's this? Also needs water. Did I not set up water there? No, I didn't. Ah, that's a problem. Um, let's just finish the road here a bit more. And on this side too then. It will wreck the power supply. But we can fix that quick enough. Just go a bit like this. Yep. Yeah, that should fix it. And then build an extra road here. So we can get some extra... Um, industry going as well. That's, that might be very useful too. Just to get that little bit of extra industry. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not straight. Whoa, that's a lot of noise from the demolition. We'll work on that. All right, there we go. Let's put up some plumbing here. Just to give everything its share of plumbing. There we go. There we go. If you want to have industry, you should have at least six to 8,000 people. Well, I mean, this is also industry, but if we want some specialized industry and things, we should uh, probably grow a bit more. I think so. And I, I still have to figure out uh, how all these special industries and stuff work and, and where to put it. But um, I don't know. I'll try to figure some stuff out this week before we get to the next stream next week. Welcome back, Jon. <laughs> Instant coffee. Well, enjoy your coffee. I'm doing some fishing too. <laughs> very good, very good. Okay, so we can see there's more and more traffic. It's fine now. But, uh... Could be interesting to get the tram driving as well, because that should save us a lot of trouble. Alright, let's get some of the uh, commerce here. That should help spread some houses here too. Oh, we can already see probably... No, it's not a garbage truck actually. Who is it? It's a new buggy. Going to the neighborhood shop. Well, he's taking a detour to the neighborhood shop. That's for sure. Alright, let's get rid of these traffic lights. Because they serve no purpose right there. And these stoplights. Stop thing... Yeah, these do we need for the uh, tram to just pass by smoothly. Now they added traffic lights here too because we changed the road. That's one of the things that I don't really like. All those traffic lights get added once you change the roads. But we'll just check them every now and then. Make sure that uh, they are turned off. So this is better. No more traffic lights. Now there's probably... Yeah, traffic lights on this side too. I don't want them. Just drive if you can. Only if there's an issue. We should be using traffic lights. Not more than we need to. Alright, let's go here with some of this. And of course, if you have any ideas or thoughts or whatever, let me know. We can try to make it work. We'll see. So just share what you want to see me do in this town and I will try to do that. For now, it's a pretty basic town, but I think if we can unlock a new zone... And start working in that new zone. 
we can change things up a bit there. We already started changing things up a little bit here, of course. Ah, there we can see now the first houses in this little more rural area of town. So that's already interesting. I hope that's nice and it'll look nice. I'll just be having a little zip from my drink now, so I'll turn off the mic. And we're back. So what do you all have planned for the coming days in the weekend? I'm really curious to know. I'll be working tomorrow. I have to get up early because I have to be at the um, graveyard at 9 a.m. I don't know how long it will last because uh, there will be nobody from the uh, from the city there. So we'll have to do everything ourselves. And uh, there'll be a service. And then we'll do the burial. And then there'll be some drinking coffee and stuff for the family. So we'll have to stay there. But that's all fine. And then after that I'll be home. Hopefully doing some work on the channel if I have some energy left. And Sunday evening, of course, we'll be streaming again some F Life is Feudal Forest Village. I hope you're looking f as forward to it as much as I am, because I know I'm really looking forward to it again. I really enjoy those. Alright, let's just end these um, straight lines here, because I think we should at some point try to connect with this. Maybe we should go over this at some point. And try to connect those highways. That could be interesting. More gardening. It's supposed to be hot in England. <laughs> Alright, well, I hope you can do some more nice work on your garden. I think we should move these over here. To... Let's pause for a bit. Let's see if we can easily do that. Relocation cost only 500. That will free up some space and a lot of the pollution will go away. I think that is good. We just need to connect it all to the uh, lines here, but that's not too hard. And now it just needs some power, of course. Now the good thing with that is we can give it some power easily. And that should clear things out a bit here. And then we have some more room to make a nice connection with the highway here. So that they can come into town from two ways. Fishing all weekends. No pup this weekend. Okay. Well, I hope you have a lot of uh, fish that you can catch. I, I believe I read that you're going to give them to your mate. But that's fine. I mean, uh, just do what you enjoy. Alright, let's see if we can... Get this way a bit. Slightly less far. Somewhat like this. It's always hard to make these go completely the same. At least for me that's quite hard. I don't know about you guys. But I always struggle by making this all go nicely together. But this could be working. Maybe we need a little bit more cornering in here. Yeah, this looks a little bit better. Now, how can I change the look of the bridge? I'm, I'm wondering. Can I actually? I have no clue. Alright, well. Let's build another one here too. So we now have two bridges here. it's working we now have a road connection here too so they can just drive straight to our town if they want to you guys already know what i'm doing fishing harvesting winterizing and keeping everybody fed or fed up one of the two very nice very busy f1 next weekend ah so not this weekend pay benny a visit and empty his fridge oh that'll be a great weekend roadhog Winterizing, if that isn't a word, it should be. Well, we can just make it a word right now. So from here on in, we just decide that winterizing is an official word. And there we go. All right, let's build another overpass here. Because I think our town can need one more. And then go down again. There we are. Now let's make a connection to the highway here. should go from this side I think yep that works <laughs> I 
Why is it trying to lock from that direction? Alright, we'll just go like this and then see if it can connect. Yeah, it can. Alright, there we are. Another on and off ramp for the traffic on the highway. We can see that the highway gets used straight off, so that works. Yeah, but Benny has the next day early shift, so not going to keep him up. Ah, that's smart. Oh, and it's the start of WSL, Women's Football League in the UK. Okay, nice. Is it on a decent time? <laughs> I don't know where the next race is. Where's the next race? All right, look at this little part of town, by the way, because I think it always looks cool if you get, like, some more spacious build. These people really have a cool view of the river. Luckily, the pollution is now moved there, so all the other pollution will just float away, and this will all be clear water, which is great. And then you have a nice town living here. Oh, you have a highway close, but... Uh, oh, look at all those bumps in the highway. Well, that's not a Dutch highway. <laughs> That's not how they look in Holland. Everything is always pretty straight. But I like these little hilly hilly features in this housing here. It's cool. Ah, there's a small family walking with a dog. I like that. Well, these park quite a bit off from their house. Three households in just one house, but that's fine. Not a dog in there. I like it. And I like these houses. It's pretty cool houses. And we have over 4,000 people living in our town. I guess that's a nice number too. What we need to do now is make sure that we save some money for the tram. Because right now we've not been saving any money for the tram. Uh, we can take this loan out though. But we could also just wait because we make 6,500 now. So I guess that's a good amount. It's like a 7 Dutch time. 2 hours plus and after party would be like... Oh well, that's nice. Who are you supporting? Manchester City. And I want to keep my eye on Arsenal and Aston Villa. Ah, nice. So do you have some nice Dutchies uh, playing for those football clubs? I don't know. I'm not into football. So I don't know uh, anything about the men or the women's teams. All right. There's a lot of traffic here. And I think quite a bit of this traffic is just floating through. So it could also be an option to change this up a bit. Maybe even elevate the highway over this. And then make some on and off ramps onto the roundabout or something like that. That could actually be interesting. I think I'm going to go, kind of go for that. We'll just pause for a bit. We'll delete some of this and try to make it work with some elevation. If we can. Now we can't elevate it underneath there. So that's not going to work. But we can try it from here on out. So let's go up. There we are. Yes. We'll do the same here. And then we have to get over this. Can we get over in a normal fashion. I think we should be able to. That's one step. This is another. So this one is over it. Let's now go from this one. Yep, that's one step. That's another. Alright, this one's over it now too. And then I want to keep it raised a little bit longer. And then it can go down. Same here. Let's keep it raised a little bit longer. And then it can go down. Now let's make this go the right way course otherwise there's still an issue and now we could be making some on and off ramps oh well, that's one that should be easy for the traffic i think and here's another so they can't get on and off the uh, roundabout here yeah i don't think that's the best solution here. Maybe we should go a little bit farther out. Yeah, that's better. And then we start from straight somewhere here. Try to get it to connect to this. Not enough money. Ah, that's an issue. Well, we'll just take that 
and put that on later then as soon as we have the money but now all the people that want to just pass through on the highway can go on the highway all right by the way you can use the elevation step to not make it too high instantly oh what do you mean by that the elevation step i just raised it one i just did one step i believe so i just one times the page up um but what do you mean by the elevation step? I'm curious now. Good evening, wifey. I've also saved to buy a smart TV so I can stream Spanish football. I also love Barcelona. That's nice euphoria. And with a smart TV, you can also watch this on your TV. So that should be cool. I think. <laughs> I don't know. That's up to you whether it's really cool. But... Uh to me that would sound really cool all right let's get this going and then bring it up here there we are all right they now have an on and off ramp everywhere let's just check for some junction traffic lights no traffic lights perfect oh here's traffic lights let's get rid of the traffic lights yeah that's better all right could you turn the music down? Ah, I was thinking, when would you show up and tell me to do that? I can do that, no problem. It's already almost off, so... Uh... But I know this is a bit much for you. I hope this is better. <laughs> May you turn the music down, please. Yes, Lee, Lee, or Lee, or how do I pronounce your name? I'm not sure. It's the step in meters when you press page up means you can lower to page up plus one meters per step, three meters. Oh, really? Thanks to Stanislavson. That's great. Um, and, and where can I set that up? Go to roads. Oh, and then there's probably something here that tells me to... Oh, the elevation step. One. Oh, cool. All right. We'll lower the elevation step then. That should be... That should be really nice. Oh, great. Well, that's what you get if you have not played this game for like two years. And then you decide to start streaming it because of the uh, excitement for the new game that comes out, of course. So uh, that's nice. Thanks for the tips. I can really use them. Although, well, of course, in a little over a little less than a month, we'll be playing City Skylines 2. But feel free to join in then too to give me a lot more tips about that game too. I have not played that, so can use all the tips. Well, here we are, but the uh, part of town here taking shape, that also looks interesting. I like this. I like how this looks and how it's kind of shaped into the natural terrain. I like that. Do I know you? No, Lee, you don't. But I was responding to wifey, who I do know because it's my wife. And I knew she's... The music was quite... With those snarpy sounds. So I knew she would ask me to do that. So that's why I responded to that. That wasn't for you. So sorry if you uh, you thought this was about you. Make more water. Oh, make more water. So we'll have to do some terraforming then, I guess. Shifty terrain. Ooh, we're out of power. I have to fix that, by the way. Otherwise, we'll have not much of a city left soon. Yeah, we can already see that the plumbing is taking a hit because that's not receiving enough power. There we are. Now the plumbing should get some power and then this should all be fixed soon. I'm not going to play... Um, uh, going to put in some extra water right now. I'm sorry. That'll happen sometime later. All right, we can see that the plumbing should get fixed now. Or are we also out of plumbing space? No, it gets fixed now because we get some extra power. Oh, wow, look at all these bubbles going away. But we also need some extra stuff to uh, get rid of all the waste. Now, maybe we could do a little treatment plant. I believe there's good treatment plants. What's this? The Eco Water Outlet, the Green Initiative. While it's quite expensive, it helps purify the water let out of it. Pollution is reduced, but not wholly gone. The outlet lets out polluted water from the sewage system. Needs a water pump to supply. All right, so we can at least get one that's a little less polluting then. That can already be interesting. 
I think we should get that. And then at least we have enough sewage outtake, so that should go up. But we also need another water intake because we don't have enough water yet. All right, can we just fit it? Yes, we can. Perfect. There we go. That's nice. How are your sewage plants going? Well, uh, this is pumping out nice, pumping out nice amounts of sewage. This should make a lot less pollution, so that's great. Capacity for the this one is quite slow, quite a bit less than these, so that's interesting. We'll have to keep that in mind, and I think we need to start treating the water a bit soon. But we also still need to save money to get our tram going because we have the tram tracks. We still don't have a tram yet. But uh, we'll find out. City Skylines 2 won't run on my PC, but modded one is good enough for me. Ah, okay. Well, I have no mods running right now, so this is just the vanilla game with a few DLCs. Not all of them, because I don't have all of them. Skylines 2 should be running fine on my computer, though. I hope so. And then uh, we'll just get into that. Hopefully, I can enjoy people with streaming it then. Welcome back, Leah or Lei. How do I pronounce your name? Nice of you to be here, by the way. I hope you're good and everything is fine. Where are you from? And of course, thanks to everybody watching anyway, because I really appreciate it. I've already met so many nice people right here on YouTube and it just keeps expanding. So that's great. I'm really happy with that. So uh, thanks so much. And thanks for the 12 likes already again for this video. That's great. And it does work for the YouTube algorithm. So thanks. Compared to workers and resources, this game looks like Legoland. <laughs> well, that's fine. I love Legoland. Or well, I've never been there, but I love Lego. So should be fine. All right. I think... Um, the highway connection here really helped our town because this was so busy and now a lot more people can just get past the highway here get it in and out of town from different places so that works that works i think i missed a couple of hellos that's fine here at f don't worry don't worry Ooh, 13 likes already thanks so much people already got a few new subscribers as well you are all amazing so nice to get all that support. I'm really happy with it and humbled by it and just have no words for it as usual. But most of you already know that. So uh, it's just who I am. All right, let's build a few roads here so we can expand our industry just a little bit more again. I hope. There we go. That's another part where we can get some extra factories going. Now, I, I seem to remember that at some point you could um, build a uh, district and then just click it and give it a few policies like there should be no polluting industries and then there were no polluting industries anymore. But I don't think it works that way right now because I think a few DLCs later things changed up a bit. But uh, that would be still interesting if we could get that. All right, we need some sewage here. That's nice. Okay, so power is okay, but we need a bit more. Sewage is okay. Garbage still fine. School. I think we need a high school. Ooh, we have 800 people ready to go to high school. We don't have money for a high school. I'm going to take out that loan now, by the way. Because we want to get the tram. And we still don't have the money for the tram. But that's just another 5,000. So we can get that. And then we can let the tram drive around and get some less traffic. And I just love to get a tram around town. Alright, do you have a chance to check out that Sunken Land game? No, sorry, I did not have a chance. I had to work today and I had a busy day yesterday. So uh, that didn't work out uh, well. But I hope to do that during the weekend. Wifey sent me a uh, little video uh, in, in the WhatsApp. So I'll have that saved so I can check it out later. That should be interesting. Thanks for the suggestion anyway. Thank you all for joining us tonight. Welcome to chat, anyone. Enjoy yourselves. Yeah, that's very true, Kevin. You all are amazing. 
<laughs> expert on the dad jokes. It's just a run up for Potmos when he comes into the big league. We will welcome him. <laughs> Coulon, South France. Yeah, that's true. Just like silly jokes. <laughs> All right, we can start to build the tram station. Now, where should we build it? It is quite large, and I don't think it'll fit anywhere here. Maybe we can fit it here. No, 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 no. So, yeah, that's an issue. We have to fit it somewhere, so I guess it should be on this side then. I do think it generates some noise pollution, but it is what it is. Another thousand years. All right. Well, let's just build this first. Yeah, I know the paint tool. Thanks, Stanislav. I know I, I can paint the uh, a little district, but does it still work as it did before, where you just paint the district and then tell it to have no more uh, stuff in it and it won't have that? I, I'm not sure. So, yeah, we can just paint an industry area if we want to, but I don't think we can set any policies for it by just clicking it because it will just say that this is an empty area i believe all right so let's click it away industry we have to specialize it or something like that so i don't really remember how that works but that's fine we were now busy with this little building right here this should fix the water now it should be fully fixed and now i believe We should start to set up a new line. Public transportation hubs. Yeah, that's nice. All right, here we can go. A tram line. There we should go. Um, I never know how many stops we should do, but I think not too many. So we'll just go around here. Then we'll go to the other side. Do kind of the same thing like this. We'll add a stop right here. Yeah, not add one there. We'll just add one right here. And there. And then complete it. There we have our first tram line. Now we should see trams coming out. Yep, there comes one. That's nice. That's nice. And we have our first tram line. Ah, for the neighborhoods, the policies still work. Yeah, I remember that we have policies, but the last time I play, ex actively played this game, I could just select one of these uh, districts that you made, and then you had all these settings that you could do, like no uh, pollution in them, no, no traffic or low traffic and stuff like that. But I guess that's just five DLCs back, so uh, that's no longer in there. That's probably uh, the case. Um, so that's why I'm, I'm just... I just have to find out some other stuff again. But, um, oh well, it is what it is and it's fine. As long as we just have fun right now with this game for one or two or three streams. And then the new game comes out. So uh, that should be all. All right, we can see our trams going. I like these trams, by the way. Let's just follow one for a bit. No passengers on it. Well, that's for sure. They're all just driving behind each other. I think one of the things they could really do is make sure that these tram lines... Um, what's the other game? Oh, it's like in Transport Fever. When you build a, a bunch of tram lines, they will just spread out around the line and they will all be on these right intervals behind each other. And these just don't do that, which I think is not that nice. Go to the toolbar on the top left, pick resources and see where you have forest oil. Then you paint industry area, then you get main building and get to change. Yeah, I've, we have been uh, looking up on that. I had built one of those chains on the wrong area. I built one here, but there was no forest here. So then we found out, yeah, we have to find these nice zones. So here there's some fertile land, here's some too. But most of it is out of our uh, area here. So I was going to save that for also next stream. And when we buy a new zone. So maybe next time we can buy this zone. And get some oil out of the ground here. I think that could be interesting. But I was also trying to save some stuff for the next stream. Otherwise we'll be showing everything off in one stream. 
And, uh, well, although that is nice. We were now just trying to build a stable town with a good income so that we can uh, progress this. But thanks, thanks for letting me know. You use special industry. Oh, did I use special industry? That's so. I think paint industry area. Okay. I didn't know that that was the special industry. I thought it was just the regular one. Erase parks. Yeah, we can paint a park. Last time I played this, that wasn't the case. That wasn't all there. Remove the in specialization and return the zone to generic industry. Yeah, well, that's what it is. So that's fine. Organic and local produce. No commerce. Yeah, that's all fine. We're not going to get into this right now. Save that for next episode. Hopefully I have some time to play around with it for then. The city is way better than New Apple. <laughs> Are the zones expensive to buy? Uh, depends on what zone you mean. If you mean these zonings for these, these are free. You just tell them that they can go there and these will go there. The districts are also free to paint, I believe. Uh, so we can paint a district here. This is just a normal district. I'm not 100% sure what it will do right now, but maybe we can now click it and then see what it does. Uh, ah, now it's... And now we can set districts for just this. Oh, that's nice. So we can do some nice stuff. Free Wi-Fi fishing license. Prefer parks. Recycle plastics. Yeah, that's all interesting. I can't set it to be pollution free or something like that. So that doesn't work. Uh, so that's no longer... In, that's probably a different way that we have to do that. But yeah, we can still do some... Uh, some districts that's fine it's still a really interesting game i'm just happy that we don't have any big traffic issues yet because usually i get a lot of traffic issues <laughs> no new land to buy yeah we can buy some new land we can buy some new land uh if we go out, we have the money for it. This zone, for instance, will cost us 3,800. We can also go down here. Um, but we could also just do a little bit of thinking about what should be next. So one of the things we could do is go here and get some industries going here. Uh, but there's also we also have a lot of housing here already. Let me just change things up. So if we take a look at this map, we can see that there's a lot of fertile land here. So we could set up some farming here. Here we have forests and oil. So we could get oil industry up here. Here we have some forests, some oil, a little bit of fertile land. And down here we just have some fertile land and a bit of oil apparently. Why did you name the city Lake Valley? Well, uh, that's the basic name it got. So I guess it's up to all of you to find a nice name for my town. So please come up with a nice name. I'm interested. So just give me a few suggestions and we'll pick one. Oh, and please, uh, Lee or Lia or however I pronounce your name. Tell me how to pronounce your name because I don't know that yet and I want to pronounce it right. And since you give all these nice uh, comments in the chat and I respond to them, I want to be able to pronounce your name right. And of course, if you have any suggestions on which zone to buy, just let me know. Um, but I think we could go up here, for instance, and then start a nice oil industry and go this way for some nice farming. We already have industry here, so setting up farming here should not be too hard. Uh, so that could be something, but we'll save that for the next episode. So next time we're going to buy some zones and really do some big expanding of the town. Right now I'm just trying to keep everything running. And one of the things I want to get is a high school... It's time to get some smart kids in town. So there they go. We now have a high school. We get better educated workers. That's nice. A guy from the council knocked on the door asking for a donation for a local swimming pool. I gave him a glass of water. <laughs> Lego Minster. Oh. That's interesting. That's interesting. We're going to get into the town names now. So we have Lego Minster as an option. Sounds like an interesting option. 
All right, we have not a lot of room for actual um, housing growth at this point, which is not so good. So we do need to get to another part of town. Here we have the industry and all this pollution, so I don't want to build houses here. So we do need to buy another zone. So basically we have north, east, south and west. And I want to know uh, what zone you want me to buy. So uh, we'll just try this. We'll just set up a little poll for it and then you can tell me which zone to buy. As I can continue a little bit with the development. There we are. Let me know which zone should I get. Let's get back into town. We still have plenty of room for the industry. So that's not really needed. You can go over the river. Yeah we can. But it's... Um, traffic will have to come from either this. Or we have to make an on and off ramp here. And I'm not yet... yet read, sorry about that. I'm not yet ready to do that. Uh, and there's only limited space here. So, for instance, if we buy this zone, we can just fill this up with more housing. That could be interesting. Uh, if we go north, we could just change this into a full intersection and then get a lot of housing there and then get the industry up here. So there's a lot of different options to pick from. Well, we could also do some housing here, but we still need to change this one to get all the people off the highway. You're going to get a new one after the next milestone anyway. Oh, do you get a free one then? Like a free zone. I mean, we can still buy two. We, we have the option to do so. Uh, would be nice if we would get a completely free one. But yeah, we can buy a new area after this one. So that's cool. Or this one. Ooh, just 51 people to go. Oh, it doesn't say that we get a new zone this time, by the way. To get a busy town, but we'll find out. Alright, I think the uh, chat already has quite a bit of time to get me the results. Let's see. It's between north and west now. North and west. Well, then it's easy. I'm just going to buy the west one. Be like Jelly. You got a good town named New Apple. <laughs> Do New Town. <laughs> Can we actually change the name? I think we should be able to, yeah. So now it's Newtown for a bit until we can come up with a better name. I think I'm going to buy West now. Then we can easily expand the city because the roads are already there. And then in the next episode we'll buy North and set up some nice uh, factories and stuff up there as well. I think that's the most easy thing to do for now. So let's just buy this one. There we are, and all of a sudden we have a lot more space. Let's see, can we already... Uh, no, we still can't do some nice roads there. So we'll just have to do it like this. Luckily we make some good money, so that's very nice. That should be straight. Can't get any tree roads here too, so still the normal road then. Because we do need a lot more housing it says, so why not just set it up quickly. Oh, we do need to start working or considering this sewage again, apparently. Maybe we also need to consider power again, I'll check soon. Let's just first give them some space to uh, to expand to. So that we at least have something going here. That's nice. That works. <laughs> Talking about... We should play some parks. Yeah, that's a smart one. Let's do... Then uh, the um, people can upgrade or the houses can upgrade and things like that. That's a very good suggestion. Let's place this. It's not too big. It has a nice area. So let's get it down here a bit so that everything fits into that area. That's nice. 
yeah, almost all the houses fit into the area now. How big is this? Also not too big. Let's get one down here too. Just so that we get some upgraded houses. Because that will be very helpful. At least we'll have two now. So that's something. And oh, they're really busy here. How are we with the power? That's okay. We just need some more sewage treatment. But I think we also need a treatment plant then. Eco inland water treat plant. What's this? Inland water treat plants extends the water surface to include cities built far away from open water source. This building processes and drains the wastewater back into the ground. And the plant surroundings will be affected by ground pollution. Ah, that's not smart. Don't want any ground pollution. Tank reservoir. Fresh water outlet. Yeah, that's all nice. But I want this one. Oh, we need a lot more town to get to that point. We're just going to build another normal one. I don't care about the eco stuff at this point. I just want extra capacity here. So when it starts working, we should see the extra capacity jump up right here. Plop, come on. There it is. It should be working now. Yep, yeah, there we have the extra capacity. That works. That's great. What about I add something to the amusement park? What are you going to add to the amusement park? Let's see. Because I think we can... A large playground. A park with trees. Oh, that's a very big park, by the way. A Japanese garden. Ooh, what's this? A botanical garden. I like a botanical garden. Those are amazing buildings. Let's get a botanical garden in here. That should make the area even more desirable. That we can get better tier buildings. Make skyscrapers. Oh, they are in here, I believe. Unique buildings. Are they not in here? I think they're... Or are they in here? Monuments. Yeah, we can't get monuments yet. Is there anything that we can already... We, we don't have that much money at this point. I don't think we can build a skyscraper. We can build a mall of moderation. <laughs> yeah, this is a skyscraper, but we can't build the clock tower yet. I missed it. I was stuck in an ad. Ah, well, we built some parks and some other stuff. I can't really get to skyscrapers yet, I believe. Lazaret Plaza, the Statue of Wealth. Statue of Industry. Well, that should be placed in the Industry District then, I guess. But yeah, that's a bit of a waste. Alright, this is all good. I want to check the um, public transportation. 160 a week. I guess that's okay. That's an okay number. They're starting to spread out a little bit more around town. So that's a good thing. Two. Well, oh, there we are. We are now a busy town. Sightseeing tours, oil industry, free public transport. Yeah, no way. They're going to pay for it. A book fair. Oh, there's a lot of new uh, policies that we can get. Not in my backyard. Very cool. Lots of nice policies. Ooh, and finally some nice roads that we can actually decorate and give the city a much nicer look. I like that. Oh, should we also get something like... I believe there's something like road maintenance and stuff. Should we get something like that? I think that will make for better uh, roads and higher speeds on the roads. So let's get that. Quite costly, but who cares. Ooh, and we can make toll booths to make some money. Uh, why is this happening? Are we out of power again? Yeah, we are out of power again. Oh boy. Maybe we should get the advanced coal plant. It provides more power and it's cleaner. Let's go get that. Let's get an advanced coal power plant so we can... We use coal power, but it should be better. <laughs> Still talking about sports. That's so not my alley. Alright. Ooh, they're not really getting their garbage picked up. So we need to worry about that. But I don't want to build a landfill anywhere close here. Because that's going to leave a lot of pollution. But maybe if we just build another landfill, that will help out. 
could just go here because we don't really care about... We'll just place it in the middle here. That should be better. All right, there we have another one. That should take care of things. Can you name one of your people your real name? I can, but I'm not going to give out my real name. So that ain't going to happen. Sorry about that. It's just a little privacy thing. I mean, I know I'm a very small YouTuber and nobody cares about me. But uh, who knows? Maybe the day comes at some point that I get a little bit bigger. And then somebody might care or be crazy. And I don't want that. Not really for myself because I don't care about that. But I don't want any of that happening for my family. So that's not going to happen. Sorry. All right, let's get away with the traffic lights because they're usually just an annoyance. Sometimes they can be very good, so we can activate them at some point when we get into traffic issues. But right now we are not in traffic issues, so we're not going to do that. All right, here we are. Uh, let's click like this. Well, so far this seems to be working quite well. Lots of traffic going through, some others coming on and off this gets too busy we have to make this a little bit longer but uh, I'm not so sure about it these two are also very close to each other that could also be an issue so at some point it might be better to just remove this entire one and just keep the overpass and just make them use this one that could also be a thing And oh, this part of town is really taking shape. So we have some nice people living here. I don't really know if these appreciate the view of these big outlets. But uh, oh well, that's their problem. Have you ever wondered by buildings like this that they have a very small inlet pipe? And apparently out of nowhere some extra stuff gets added because they have a very big outlet pipe. But I mean... I believe it's normal physics that if you only have an inlet like this, all you need is an outlet like that too. Because why make it so big? There's not something extra coming out of it. But hey, that's just me wondering those things. <laughs> I know it, but I want it to be my last day of a mod. <laughs> Thanks, Roadhog, for not sharing it. That's nice. <laughs> Yeah, there's only a, a, no, not even a handful of people that know, so that's better. That's why I also always talk about wifey and little one. Just for privacy reasons. Alright, this is a highly polluted part of town. I, I do think it looks cool though, all that industry, but... Um, I just hope there's not a lot of tree huggers around right now, because they won't really enjoy this. <laughs> You're too smart. Well, there ain't such a thing as too smart. And I'm not really considered to be smart. So, yeah, that ain't happening. I think Bert is a strong male name. Well, it depends on if you watch Sesame Street or not. But, uh, maybe. Let's see. We can expand a bit more and get some nice trees going as well. Who doesn't like a nice tree? I do like a nice tree, so let's get it. I think this should just go slightly further and then... Let's attach it like that. Perfect. A road with some trees. <laughs> what games do you play? Well, mostly city builders. Good question, by the way. Thanks. Uh, mostly city builders. So um, right now I'm streaming on Wednesdays. And then I play Planet Zoo because I just love building a zoo. It's such a great game and we have so much fun with it. So that's one of the games that I do. Um, I also do... On Sundays I stream... Um, oh, of course now I can't get the name. Life is Feudal uh, Forest Village, which is also a city builder. Um... But the, the main things on my channel so far are games like Austria, Foundation, uh, Surviving the Aftermath, mostly city builders, sometimes base builders. I, I also like that. Um, but yeah, mostly mostly the city building types. I really, really love Austria and Foundation. Those are amazing games. I also play some Farthest Frontier games like that. Uh, you can always just check out uh, the channel. You'll find quick enough what types of games uh, I play. But now I'm curious to know what type of games you play. 
right, let's build some extra commerce here. Now we have to set up some waterworks. That should do the trick. And then we have some extra space for commerce and housing. That should really help grow the town, get some good money in. And then next time we can build some nice industry up north. So I'm just going to humor all of you already. I'm just going to buy this north zone as well. So at least we have it. So on the next episode we can go up here and, and build some nice of those industry districts with some forestry or oil industries. And Saturdays you live stream this. Well, that depends on where you live. Um, it's Friday night here, Friday evening. It's uh, 9 p.m. So I stream this basically on the Fridays. But I guess it could well be that where you live, it's already Saturday. Uh, where are you from, actually? So then we know I'm from the Netherlands. And here it's 9 p.m. right now. So this is basically when I usually wrap up the stream because I do two-hour streams. Uh, I play Minecraft. Ooh, that's nice, too. That's nice, too. So you have like these big worlds that you created or uh, how is the traffic in town by the way yeah we have a few busy points but that's it nothing too bad and we have some nice buildings leveling up level one level two some even get to level three slowly so that's good that's good i like that most of those are doing nice most people are happy i like that these aren't happy but this is not enough customers modesty blaze as a movie i don't know that who knows? I don't know if it's a movie for me, but we'll find out. Look at all these trees. This is like a little bit of town in the green. But of course, once all the houses get up, the green will go away. Well, people, we started this stream from scratch. We started with nothing. Here we can see all that we have achieved so far. We have a positive balance, which is great. We have over 600 people. And we have room here for expansion. And we've already set this up so we can expand this way on the next stream. So this is going to wrap up this stream because I have to get up early tomorrow to work. So I need to go to bed a bit early too. So thank you all so much for being here. Thanks for sharing this with me. Thanks for all the nice times, nice comments, nice chats. And of course 13 likes, the new subscribers that I got. I'm so happy that uh, I get all of this support. And I'm very thankful for it. All of you are really amazing. And uh, I just love to stream and interact with all of you. I wish you all a great weekend. If you go to bed soon, sleep well. If you uh, are in another time zone and you just started a new day or, or at midday, enjoy the rest of your day. If you're from the Netherlands, why do you speak English then? Well, most people in the world do understand English and most people don't understand any Dutch or, or, or the Netherlands, but we, we call it Dutch. So... Uh, yeah, that's why I do English, so I have a bigger reach. There's only uh, about 17 million people in the Netherlands. I don't know how many of those games, so that will be a very small audience if I uh, had to find the right people from that. So, uh, And there's a lot of people from the UK in my streams, and I love those people, so uh, let's just talk English. But good question. So, uh, thanks all. I hope to see you all next time. We'll be back on Sunday with some Life is Feudal Forest Village. We'll continue that adventure. And uh, wish you all the best. Take care. Stay healthy. And then I will see you all next time. Thanks so much. And bye bye.